Hi, hello everybody. My name's Manny. My name's Tyler. And this is Hi Ho Gamers. Welcome to the Stanley Parable. Alright, so Stanley Parable is a game that I love and know from Steam. I used to play it a whole lot just to like try to get all the different scenarios. I have almost all of the achievements unlocked. I can't figure out how to get two of them. It's driving me nuts. And I've never played it before. Yeah, so this is going to be his first time. So Manny Luke will actually be the one in control. I will be watching and guiding. So um, I was told that this is a right crazy in? game. Yeah, let's jump right in. Yeah. Uh, no explanation necessary. Let's just end is never the end is never the end is loading. Now. So for this game, audio is necessary. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. Okay, so I could listen to it. Or? Yeah. Okay. Uh, or I'll like turn it up loud enough to where we can kind of hear it coming out of the headphones. Oh, okay. Well, next time I'll just bring my headphones too, so we both can have headphones in, you know? Yeah. Is this the right one? It can go either. No, I was going to turn it up so we can both hear. Oh. Uh, this is the story of a man named oh. Stanley. Ooh. Stanley worked for a company in a big building okay. where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. Yeah, that's he sat said. at his desk in room 427 and okay. he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. So this is already a little bit trippy then. I considered it soul rending. Stanley managed every yeah. moment that the orders came in. Oh, that's it's only have been made exactly for this job. Stanley so I can hear it too. Okay. <laughs> Turn it. You, you have hands. I'm not your maid. Something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever there change Stanley. Burp. Something he would never quite forget. Uh -oh. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to uh -oh. follow. No Free one money. showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. Narrator has such a stupid But as he voice. came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. That's where you play. Alright, so this is the Stanley parable. Stanley is stepping away from the office. It is currently... 5... it's about to be 6 o'clock. No. No. It's yes. it's about tw it's about forty minutes or twenty five minutes past eleven. Oh. No. That's the minute hand right here. Oh. That's the hour hand. There you go. That's stupid. <laughs> I was looking. I was looking at <laughs> that little nub. Yeah. Whatever. Little nub. Schmuck. So we're employee number four two seven. Four two seven. And the secret documents. Is there an Easter egg hidden within? I don't know. Can I? All right, so basically, Can you press A to like make things happen? Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. I closed the door. He had to make a decision. What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? Oh. He had never been trained for that. No, this couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. No. Nothing will hurt me. I Nothing act will break me. In I here, I can be happy <laughs> forever. Uh, no, I will be happy. No, Stanley I waited. Hours passed. No. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. Let me out! The one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, Let me... very soon now, this will end. <laughs> he will crazy? be spoken to. Yes. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Oh my now God. it's even closer. Here it comes. Whoa! Hold on. I closed the door on accident. That's it. That was one of the scenarios. If you close the door, that's one of the scenarios. Are you serious? Okay, so, scenario number one. Woohoo! Scenario number two. That was an accident, by the way. I didn't mean to close the door. And it's 428. What are you doing, bro? No 428. And 429. No. And, ooh, 429's not even in there. 
And then we got... All of his co-workers were gone. Okay. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. You know, I don't no appreciate... No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I don't appreciate this narrator guy telling me how to live my life. <laughs> I was... Uh, I guess I gotta go to the meeting room with... You don't have to, no. but you can. Not without checking. 437. Hey. So is A the only action button here? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So, what's going on? Ooh, this guy was up to no good. I'm gonna check every single door, because with games like this, you can never be too sure. I've seen enough YouTube videos to know that something sinister is going on, and they're trying- Stanley clicked on literally every single door in the office, because he doesn't pick up well on cues from his environment. Oh my gosh. Are you insults? The game is making fun of me. I hate Mondays. No, because Stanley is smarter than the man. Look, look, clearly something was going down in there. Look at how someone tried to escape. Oh, this is not good. Stanley about to get dead. All right, 416. You can't tell me how to live my life, narrator guy. I'm smarter than you, and you don't realize that. I'm just going to keep on trying every door. Crap, I don't like this. The sets, like, I'm all alone. Like, can I go here? This is very nice. Okay, we're going <laughs> to... It's probably California. I don't want to go there. I'm already there. I've been stuck here for, like, four months. So I'm already one out. I like it. All right. All right. So we're going to keep on going. When Stanley came to a set of oh. two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No. What if I want to go to my right? Can I the, go either way? The game's gonna kill me. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, oh, no. and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Oh, Perhaps no. he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, yes, just to admire it. Yes, because employee lounge. Maybe I could check the fridge, and maybe like someone's food is in there, and if it's fresh, I know that I'm not alone, right? And you can eat. Oh, I'm so smart, Stanley. We got this, bro. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see what's going on in here. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. Yep. It had really been worth the detour after all, just yep. to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. I don't like the way this guy's Stanley talking. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Oh my gosh. Uh, so there's no sign. Oh look, look. I can't jump or anything. Nope. Oh, I could duck. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. This narrator guy has got some sass. I'm just trying to find evidence of life. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall book. Okay. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room. <laughs> he just opened all his left to get back to business. Oops. All right. I threw my Wii on the floor. <laughs> Don't throw your Wii. Whacking the Wii around. Sorry, okay. guys. This game is so simple in the fact that, like, you literally just walk around. Oh, no. So I'm going to have to choose, and the door's going to close behind a creepy room or view of a creepy room. Let's go to the view of the creepy room. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> like... Whose directions is he following, though? Like, the narrator? narrator's directions. Like, how can you hear the narrator if the narrator's talking to us? Okay. Don't ask questions. But, but we are Stanley. I, I guess. Yeah, I guess. We are Stanley. Check these boxes. I, I kind of want to hear what narrator's going to say if I spend too much time with these boxes. Because I have a feeling that the narrator already hates me. And however this situation ends... The next time I want to see... Oh! I almost just... Can you, you walk off? You almost killed yourself. Can you just walk off? Yeah. Wait, you would, I think you might die. Uh, uh, okay. Nothing down there. We're not going to try that. Or, well, there's stuff down there, I think. But, like, but there's other I was gonna mediums of getting down there other than killing Look, yourself. Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. 
I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Yes? There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. The narrator? Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Oh, no, for her. This is it, Stanley. For her. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Oh no. She's been waiting. Crap. So, oh, uh, this is kind of weird. Okay, what do you got to say about me now, narrator? Because the narrator doesn't like the fact that I'm not listening to him. Oh no. This is not good. <laughs> go. We're gonna. You can't go back. I can't get in there. The narrator's not going to say anything smart if I... Oh, crap. All right. This is, no. this is Hi Ho Gamers. My name was Manny Luke. Was. And I'm dead. Uh-oh. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. All right. Let's see what we got. Yo. My name's Stanley. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Oh, I remember I did this scenario once. It's a really long one. Hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about Mr. your day. Mr. Stanley. Dark Man is playing Team Fortress 2. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? Ugh. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. What a Let me show you what's really going on here. I knew you were screwing me over, but hold on. Real quick. I'm Sorry, not... Sorry, but you're in my story now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this narrator <laughs> showing his true colors. No. This what? is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Oh my... Gosh, good morning, employee. Press LT on the, on the game pad. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Oh, it's making me push buttons just like Stanley does for a living. Exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. No. He's coming back to work. No. I don't feel sorry for him. Except no. He's in this life. No. <laughs> let me out. I'm not. What if I don't press it, narrator? Huh? What if I press A instead? What if I press every single button except for RT? <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna do, narrator? Hey. Not progress. Oh, you're right. <laughs> narrator, just know that I'm doing this to get to the next scenario. And you don't control my life. But in his mind, I <laughs> In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. Hello, I can be your guide to secrets and endings. We can't do hello. Would you like me to guide you? Fantastic. Sorry, I just noticed that you were here. Oh, yeah. Find the piggy plane. And each day that he um, to work, if you want, you can. None of it would ever happen to him. Honestly, we're just playing to see what we can unlock. <laughs> Press X to watch TV. And so and... he began to fantasize about his own job. Oh my First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off so the this is the beginning of the, of the game. The thought excited him terribly. I can't be in this same spot the whole time. Let me go somewhere. <laughs> okay, spend time with the boys. Further, he imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At but last, I... choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere no, thought it didn't that matter. That's why I made would the mean decision. something was almost too wonderful to behold. Uh... Press LT to prepare dinner. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Hello, oh, I am a huge Down fan of the game, and I know every secret and ending by memory. Wow! Controls. And down another was a yellow Which one is your favorite? Guide us to that one once we get back to the beginning. Was a game with a baby. 
and he called it the Stanley Parable. I know how to get to like the actual ending, Christ like X. the one where you like escaped the building. Hey, That's the only one I remember. You're distracting my trippy trip session here. Tell your kids a story. Player one, Tyler. Children, once upon a time, Manny Luke was trying to get out of the room. It was such a <laughs> wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. No. Press LT to tell your wife you love her. There is no answer. How could there possibly be? It's turning back into my office space, though. I just noticed that. Changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Rap. That's stupid. Press LB to go to sleep, but you can't. And go I'm sleep. trying to tell him this: that in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. But as long as he remains oh there, yeah, he that one is a freaky himself. one. But he won't okay, cool. To me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Don't do it. But I want to. Press it. Press RB. Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get no. him to see what I see? How can I no. make him look at himself? No! But I don't... Qu I've been questioning everything since this game started. <laughs> I'm not going to contradict myself by hitting the X button. <laughs> not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same this is standard. crazy. We're not so different, I suppose. Crap. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. Please and die. Pushed a button. <laughs> and I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. And, and, and then you die. Oh my gosh. So that was a weird scenario. That was a weird scenario. And end is never the end is never the is loaded. Alright, so we are gonna go into the left door. There's apparently a leaf, a leaf picture in that one. And little did the narrator know is that I'm three steps ahead. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Let Yoshi win! No!